So I'll be right back. So tell me, what made you uh, want to turn Abraham Lincoln into a vam oh, vampire hunter? You know, just uh, if you look into the real life of Abraham Lincoln, you find out very quickly that it's kind of a superhero story. I mean, he is not only a big, physical, strong presence, but he was actually very handy with an axe. Um, you know, a lot of people think he had a secret life and kept a secret journal. And uh, so, I don't know, there's something dark and gothic and sexy about Lincoln's real life and something heroic about it. And uh, it just seemed like it was ready for this kind of crazy genre treatment. I'll just ask you about the relationship with Tim Burton. I know you worked with, dark, uh, with him in Dark Shadows and then Abraham Lincoln. How was the relationship with him? We have a great relationship. We're going to get married. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think, you know, I think we can break that news here. We can, we can announce that, that Tim and I are going to get married. Uh, no, we, you know, uh, I don't know. It's, it's you know, I, I have nothing but respect for him. I have idolized him for a long time. I, I think he's a genius, and I want to keep collaborating with him and learning from him. So tell me about your character in the film. Um, I play Nancy Hanks Lincoln, so she's um, the mother of Abraham Lincoln. And you have some pretty intense scenes, right? How was it... Uh, being directed to do those scenes with the vampire bites and everything? Um, well, I've had experience with vampires before, so... <laughs> no. um, yeah, I don't know, the, the kind of challenge of the role was to make make her as authentic as possible and, and, and you know, Abraham Lincoln grew up as a, as a poor boy in rural Indiana and they moved around a lot and they just lived in this tiny little cabin. So to try and get that history as accurate as possible was, was the goal. And then the vampire stuff kind of, you know, you just have to give in a little bit and surrender and that just happens by itself. <laughs> and you play Abraham Lincoln's wife. How was the research, uh, you know, going back in history and also throughout the years because you play yeah. her over several years? It was great. It was actually really fun to read about her and to read about their relationship because it was really fascinating. They both kind of came to the relationship with a lot of baggage and issues and, and things like that. And, and I think that they're kind of touched on in the film nicely. And I, I think, of course, we don't delve too much into it because it's not that story. But I think that it's reflected in a realistic way. Do you believe that vampires exist or have existed? I think there's a bit of vampire in us all. I, yeah, but as for the sort of the undead, yeah, I think so. You could argue that. Physics would tell us that energy gets put somewhere into the universe. So as to whether we call that vamp, you know, uh, vampirical or not, well, it depends, depends on how you want to tell stories. And did you always want to be an actor? How did you get in the film? Well, I actually got hired in 20 minutes. How was that? Tell me that story. So I auditioned for it. We were going back home from New Orleans while we're on the interstate. Timor calls us and says he got the role and we're like, in 20 minutes? And how was your experience with working with Timor, the director, and Tim Burton as well? I mean, they're two of the greatest visionaries that we know in film today and I got to work with them. It's pretty much a dream job. And what most surprised you about Abraham Lincoln and your research? The thing that was most surprising was that uh, he was an ordinary guy, that he was born yes. in a log cabin, he was largely self-educated, and that in spite of these poor and uh, miserable beginnings, uh, he was an ordinary man that did extraordinary things.